Hello all. Welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics on Wheels. And as usual requesting you to subscribe, like, and comment if you like the content of this channel. Many of you have requested us to create the video on manufacturing process. So as always we create the videos on your request. We are going to create a series of 7 to 8 lectures where we will explain you step by step. So, let's start with basic of wiring harness and then we will see the child parts of wiring harness followed by step-by-step -step process of wiring harness manufacturing. Coming to the content. First we will see, what is wiring harness followed by uses of wiring harness in different industry. We will see the child parts of wiring harness then what are tools to create the wiring harness design. And last we will see the how to manufacture the wiring harness on supplier end. Starting with wiring harness, wiring harness, wire harness, or also known as cable harness, are a bundle of wires which is connected to transmit the electrical energy and information signals between the various components. So you can see in these pictures, it's just wire loom. In right side, you can see that how different wiring harness are connected with each other. Like engine harness, body harness, tailgate harness, door harness, and so on. Coming to the our next point that uses of wiring harness. Small or big, wiring harness used almost in all industry. Here, we have given some of the example where wiring harness used. Industrial automation, cars, automotive, construction, construction machinery, agriculture, agricultural machinery, electronics, electrical industry, aviation industry, space industry, medical industry, communication industry, railway, public transport, arms industry, moving to the child parts of wiring harness. So before getting into the manufacturing process, we need to understand what are all parts of wiring harness. Because final wiring harness will be built by assembling all the child parts. So first child part is wires, which used to transfer the energy from one end to other end. Second is connector, which is the main component to connect the one wiring harness to other and to device also. Next is taping, which is used to provide the protection and fixing the harness. Coming to fourth one, that is terminals, which used to connect one end to other end, or to make the connection. Next is connector child parts. We already covered the connector, but we have child parts in connector as well, like CPA, TPA, wire seal, and so on. Sixth one is rubber parts like grommet, cap, and terminal cap. Though we have tubes like HSD and PVC also. Moving to next one that's seals. We have different types of seals as well. Ninth one is trough and channels which gives the fixing and support to harness on different locations and vehicle. Then we have fuse box and relay box which are used to hold the fuse and relay. Coming to the protective tubes where we have cot tubes, braid weaving and so on. Next is relay. So here you have to see one thing that's relay and relay box or holder are different components. Next component is different hardware parts like nut and bolt which will be used in harness. For example, to fix the mega and midi fuse, you need nut and bolt. Then we have splice and joint and wiring harness which are used to join the two or more than two wires. Coming to clips, clamps, and cable ties which are used to fix the wiring harness. And last but not least that's fuse. As I explained earlier fuse box and fuse are two different components in wiring harness. So now we have discussed almost all the child components of wiring harness. Our next task is how to assemble them and design the wiring harness. To design any wiring harness, you need to have the 3D model routed with all the child components as per requirement in 3D model or DMU, digital mockup. To route the wiring harness with connector and components, you require schematics information which will help you to define the two and from connection, number cavity of connector, wire cross section which help you to decide the bundle diameter. So schematics plays a vital role to route any wiring harness. Once you have the 3D model and schematics ready then by integrating 3D and schematics data, you can create the 2D drawing which will be given to supplier to create or manufacture our wiring harness. One time we will just see that what are the tools which are using for 3D creation. 
So as you can see, you can create wiring harness in the 3D environment by using Cudia V5, UGNX, ProE, or SolidWorks. You can use any of the 3D software tool which we discussed. In most of the industry, Cardia and UGNX is used more. Coming the schematics tool, so you can use any of four tools listed below. Like you can use Capital Logic for schematic creation and Capital XE for 2D drawing creation. You can use Zookin also then SolidWorks and CL Cable and Saber Tool also for creation of schematics. Once you created the 2D drawing by using the above mentioned tool, then we sent this 2D drawing to supplier to build the actual harness. Now we will see what are the steps performed by supplier to build this harness. So when the 2D drawing comes to us, supplier, then we see the name of wiring harness. Like which harness it is engine harness or body harness and so on. Then we get the BOM, bill of material, for that particular harness. Bill of material contains the information about how many wires with length, wire CSA, and so on. You can see it looks like this. We will see in detail about BOM in upcoming videos. Once you have the BOM, then one job card will issue to build the harness and to issue the material from the store. Many times it happens that particular wire color and connector series is not available in the store then we need to discuss the alternative solution and discuss with customer. Once we got material from store. First step is wire cutting. Wires are first cut to the required lengths using either manual cutters or automated wire cutting machines. Then second step is wire striping. The ends of the wires are then stripped to expose the metal conductor. Third step is terminal crimping. Crimp terminals are attached to the ends of wires. Crimping is usually achieved with a crimping tool or machine to ensure a secure and reliable connection. Then we require twisting and soldering of the wires if any required. Next step is to cut the PVC sleeves and tube, which are used over the wires to protect the wiring harness. Our next step is fitment of connectors with crimped terminals. Inserting wires into connectors. Wires with crimped terminals are inserted into their respective connectors. This may require specific tools or machines, depending on the connector type. Now comes to PVC sleeves and tubes insertion. This step is called as assembly of the backbone. The main cables are laid out and bundled together to form the backbone of the wire harness. This step involves routing wires through protective sleeves or conduits. Then we have grommet, clip, and clamps insertion. Next is application of protective coverings. Protective materials such as heat shrink tubing, specialized tubing, or tapes are applied to protect the wires and connectors from environmental hazards. Then we have to remove the extra slash unnecessary hanging parts of clips and clamps by cutting them. Coming to fitment of different parts and grommet, relay box, fuse box and wiring harness. We need to make sure that all these parts fitted as drawing specification. In last you check all the fuse, relays are inserted as per their ratings mentioned in the 2D drawing. Testing each connection. Electrical tests are conducted to ensure each wire is correctly connected, and there are no shorts, opens, or miswirings. Continuity testers, or multimeters, are used here. Once you are done with assembling all the components, now it comes the for quality check. Quality inspection. The completed harness is inspected visually and through additional tests to ensure it meets all specifications and quality standards. Advanced testing may include dynamic stress testing to simulate environmental conditions, temperature cycling, vibration, moisture exposure, and ensure the harness's longevity and reliability under operational stresses. So you can see below these are the quality tests which are performed on wiring harness before delivering. We will see all these tests in details in upcoming videos. So the tests like 1. Dimension checking. 2. Vision camera testing. 3. Optional taping. 4. Grease testing. 5. ECT testing, electric circuit testing. 6. 
TBO testing, terminal backout testing, 7. Visual testing, 8. 200% inspection, 9. 400% inspection, 10. Firewall inspection, 11. PDI inspection. Next video, we are going to create on BOM which is the first step in wiring harness manufacturing. How many do you want video on bill of materials? Please comment in comment section of this video. If we got 100 likes and 100 comments, we are going to come with next video.